Oh, I got into trouble again, this time with the bobcat. <laughs> this is how I'm doing This it. is a backwoods repair at its finest, Randy. At its finest. Oh boy, I got into trouble this time. With all this time off, I decided to do some repair work to the bobcat, including replacing both of the tracks. When I got one of them on, and I did a bunch of motor work, Randy was helping me out. And so I took it out for a test run, and sure enough, that's when the other track decided to break. I was down the hill, I was off the, off the trails, we got in all kinds of trouble. I, I wish I had done some video of fixing this and getting it into a position where we could work on it. But at the very end here, we ended up using this turfer winch to pull it back up off the hillside. We had to pull it forward first, and then we had to pull it back up. We slid it over. And so this is uh, it's kind of like a come along, but it, it pulls the cable through it. It's an amazing tool. So the track completely cracked all the way through and came off. And it was down in a hole, so we spent hours just getting it out of there. Probably best I didn't video it because you would have heard a lot of swearing. I was pretty upset. Now Randy came in here and helped me out, and he came up with an idea. So we ended up drilling a bunch of holes through the, the track and putting some cable in there. You see that tree down there? That's where I, I tied the, the winch to and pulled it forward about 10 feet. There's the hole that it was in. It was ready to go off the hillside. As I was using the track, it got worse and worse and worse. And redneck, I'd call I very easily could have redneck. slipped and gotten it upside down. But uh, there's the new track up at the top of the property. And I've got to figure out how to get this tractor up here. So doing a repair on the existing broken track seemed like our only option. And it was a challenge. It was really, really tough. I can't believe that. And I, I, my hat's off to Randy on this one. There it is at the top. I limped it up there. It, uh, Randy counted the rotations every time it went over the cog. It looked like it was about ready to break off and it was straining. I, I just babied it along. Just barely. There was the last bit of the hill and I didn't think I was going to make it. But, uh, some days you get really lucky. There's a close up of that. chicken huh? out of chicken come on oh you dropped it there we go good job yeah <laughs> 